5k is one of Asuka's primary pressure tools. It's pretty fast with decent range and is minus 3 on block so it's decent for staggers. And it's the main poke you'll use when approaching behind cubes. The more important part is all the cancel options he has access to. Being jump and dash cancelable makes this move worth using because of how well he exploits these options. The jump cancel gives him various high-low mix-ups, and the dash care ability paired with cubes lets him pressure better than most of the cast. The only downside is that it has lower block stone than you'd like, allowing only the blue cube to choose string. And since you'll want to dash care a cube almost every time you can, even the dash care at blue cube does not true string. 5k and 2k both have access to a lot of cancel options, including the command low of 6k and overhead of 6h, on top of the universal overhead and low options of dust and sweep. Unfortunately, 2k is a little underwhelming in range, but it gets the job done. It pairs well with 6k, making it 3 lows back to back and pops them up for a combo. 2d is also a great low, but can only be comboed by a couple of spells, so 6k can be more useful if you expect them to get hit by a low. 6k easily combos into the yellow cube where 2d doesn't give anything meaningful. The trade-off is that 6k doesn't work at the max range of 2k or 5k, while 2d reaches well beyond both of their ranges. 2k into 6h can be a little gimmicky, but it's nice to have the option of low into overhead. Close slash is the ideal button to pressure with. Close slash has all the cancel options that 5k has on top of a few extras through the slashes and heavies. These give you the ability to space yourself out in case you need to regenerate some resources or want to make a spell more plus. And with the extra blocks done on close slash, it makes it ideal in practically every situation. It's plus one, so you can also stagger well. It has much more block stun, so you can true string more cubes and even some dash care spells while frame trapping with others. And pairing the plus frames with a low is great, especially since he can extend his turn so well. The only downside is that his buttons are overall fairly slow, so close slash into 2k will trade with 5 frame mashes and lose to 4 framers. But that's the beauty of having so many frame trap options. Realistically, they shouldn't mash, since many spells will frame trap especially from dash care cancels. And just to be a little safe, you can do 2p since it's slightly faster. 2D is an amazing poke that you'll be pressing a lot. It is ridiculously disjointed and has great range. The downside is that it is treated as a projectile, leaving you vulnerable in counter hit state through recovery. But since it's treated like a projectile, it doesn't have hit stop, letting you cancel into spells faster than from any other normal. It does only combo into a couple of spells, so you won't be able to hit confirm it. Though, if you assume that they're going to be blocking, then it's great to pair with spells that are typically mashable, making the gap smaller or non-existent. It may be good to know that cancelling 2D into mana regen or bookmark is relatively safe, especially with the little pushback from 5k or close slash. 6k is a great multi-hitting low. It can space you out a little bit, but can easily lead to conversions from spells since it pops up on hit. But it doesn't have as much block stun as 2D or 5H, so cancelling directly into bookmark or mana regen could be unsafe. Generally, you'll be doing an attack anyways, so it should be fine, especially with the extra pushback it gives. The reward on hit is significantly higher than 2D, especially on counter hit, so if you stagger with 5k, 6k is the best frame trap option. It's also safe on block at minus 4, so if you just wanted a low commitment block string, it's good to end with. 2D can be safe, but it depends on spacing. 6H is a little slow at 25 frame startup, but is a nice overhead option to have, especially since the knockdown is long. But since the cancel into bookmark isn't safe, do an attack spell or mana regen. The best pressure situation comes from dash care into cube from 5k or close slash since it sets up plus frames and keeps you close for a strike throw mix up. With some of the higher block stun cubes you can try to fit in a tap dust or 6h. If you don't have a lot of mana to continue with string, doing close slash far slash 5h into mana regen is a nice safe way to get some back. It's also good to do this string to get some spells bookmarked. It is also worth noting that Asuka regens mana faster the closer he is to the opponent, which can make a big difference when using the lifesteal mana regen. Also, because mana regen has low recovery, it can be used to bait Y or C after fast attack spells. Starting off spell specific pressure, the explosion spell gives an unmashable strike throw mix up due to the guard crush. It can be done without doing a dash carry, but it makes it harder. Also, TKing the spell into a falling JK gives a 50 50 of double jump JK for a fuzzy overhead versus land low. The rising JK can be comboed from a decent number of spells, but need to be cancelled straight from the JK. Alternatively, you can do air backdash JD for a later hitting overhead, but this does not true string so they can take a few defensive options. Since it's guard crush, you get an unmashable throw on top of the high low. The RMS spell is relatively fast and guard crush is leaving you plus 25. It's great to use when you want to use the spell super since you have plenty of plus frames after. Also since you're plus, you can do strike throw from pretty far away. If you're up close, you can get two spells back and still got the unmashable throw. It's also one of the best spells to convert from stray hits or counter hits. Same as the explosion, there's too much pushback to get the TK spell into an overhead mix-up to connect mid-screen. 
both the air backdash and fuzzy won't work. But it's great in the corner giving both of those. To confirm this mix-up, you'll need some of the faster spells, even the green cubes are too slow. And you're so plus you won't be able to simply land and throw. Instead, you'll need to do a high up JK like you'll fuzzy, or land and do micro dash throw. The overhead spell is great to throw it at any time in pressure, but especially good when used with 6k since it can be single or double low before the overhead. And don't forget that spells cancel faster from 2d, so 2d into overhead is even faster. Doing the typical slash string ender with 5h may let them think that they're safe, but the overhead spell will catch people down backing without thinking, and the low spell will hit people trying to jump out. The overhead spell is great for catching people dash blocking in against cubes since they default to down back. The low spell being a complete disjoint with a small hurt box makes it a great tool to stuff people trying to approach after you build some resources, and has great pop up for conversions from other mixups. The big slow cube has a ton of block stun and is amazing if you can get them to block it after it's fully cast. This lets you run up for a near invisible high low mixup of tap dust versus 6k, both getting easy full conversions. Unfortunately, if you do the spell point blank, you won't have enough plus frames to get the free conversion. To do that, you'll need to be spaced out by doing a heavy normal. But spacing yourself out lets it easily be interrupted. This is where his frame trap spells come in handy. Since the threat of a faster spell hitting them from mashing is high, it's less likely they'll be mashing. With Arpeggio, if they get caught jumping, you can run up and instant overhead them with JK. Of course, you also get to do a strike throw, and you get to do a left right mix up with teleport, which I find to be best to fill the gap with 5k before the teleport. Teleport can be used to get out after a pressure sequence by teleporting away, but also to approach after a cube is thrown. For metered mixups, 6h PRC forces them to stand, giving an instant overhead JK. Also, TK22h PRC gives a low to ground JK that can be a little difficult to react to if you're not ready. The main metered mixup I think you should use is close slash IED BRC. After the IED BRC, you can do JS or JK into JD to help fast fall and prevent extra inputs, but this sets up for an easy high low mix up with a rejump JK versus low. It's important to know what spells combo from JK. The blue cube combos into falling JK or S, then 5k. The yellow cube combos into dash up close slash and you can even fit in a bookmark after casting. The low spell lets you bookmark, then dash up 5k. Same for the overhead spell. The RMS spell combos into 5k. Even the explosion spell can combo mid-screen if you have another fast cube spell, but it doesn't lead to much. It gets much better in the corner. Also, of course, it'll be easier to combo with the other spells when you're in the corner. For the low, 2k, 6k, and 2d all have different startup and reward, so mix and match as you like. If they happen to block the overhead, then you can still do a falling button and catch 6ps. But you can also air backdash and go back to neutral if you want. An alternative mix-up is 5k or close slash into jump cancel up BRC JD. This is exclusively confirmed by the low and overhead spell midscreen. You can make it faster by just doing up red RC, but then the overhead spell will no longer combo. It does also pair well with the explosion spell in the corner. Wild Assault is a great tool for Asuka. It true strings into some of the slower spells that typically frame trap. But more importantly, it lets you get off the bookmark super and stay plus. This becomes extra useful when you get down to your last spell and need to refresh by doing a cube into Wild Assault into Super. If you have a lot of resources, then going straight into a Tap Dust versus Low mixup is decent. Max range 2D into Wild Assault will frame trap, but a little closer and it's throwable, though it's unlikely that they would actually react in time. Same goes for 5H, so it's best to cover yourself when possible. The Low Pass Gravity Staff gives a rising JD overhead that can be comboed with a Blue Cube and Earthquake spell. The explosion spell works when paired with a couple of specific spells too. Unfortunately, the overhead spell doesn't reach in time due to them crouching. Other spells miss due to being too slow or not hitting low enough. But it's great for setting up safe jumps as well, especially from air hit 5k dash cancel into jump forward. The accelerate staff increases the block stun of all cubes by 11 frames and gives them guard crush. This bumps up his pressure a lot by giving every cube an easy strike throw or even high low with tap dust. This even gives a full screen yellow cube the ability to start pressure with run up 5k into another cube. 5h gives the worst Oki, essentially just throw a cube and gain some resources. If you have a teleport spell, you can teleport in behind and maintain pressure. But it also gives you plenty of time to set up staffs or change up spells that you have. 5h into super can also give a safe jump, though it is a bit manually timed. If you're in need of resources, 6h is the best option. The only downside is how slow it is, so you'll need them pretty high up to combo it. You can gain back tons of resources and stay away, or build back one and still get a safe jump. Near match range 2D lets you regen mana or a spell, then IED JD for a safe jump. Close to mid range will send you right past them, so make sure to pay attention to the spacing. 
With this spacing, it can be good to try to refill everything. But it is possible to regain a little and still get out of 2D. Space 2D is also good against players who like to do reversals a lot. Micro dash into 6H can be a good option since it's a cancelable overhead that can be spaced out. And if you aren't confident with the timing, spells work great. In the mid-range, either close slash OTG dash cancel into MIDI or do bookmark micro dash 5P to help with the timing for a MIDI close slash. From the OTG into dash cancel, you can go for a 6K to catch fuzzy jumping or fuzzy throws while still being MIDI. Mixing this in with throw can be pretty strong. 6K can also catch backdash, though the timing needed may be slightly different. Alternatively, you can OTG close slash into IED JD. And if you have the teleport spell, OTG 2D into teleport forward gives a nice cross up. The big slow cube is probably the best Oki tool for Asuka. It gives him enough time to get a resource and get a near invisible high low mix up of tap dust versus 6K and get full conversions. If you're spaced out a bit more, you can even get a meterless throw conversion that for some reason is burst safe. In the corner, TKing this spell gives a different and more potent high-low mix-up with Air Backdash JK. The overhead spell is great everywhere, especially on Oki, since it can be spaced and easily avoid throws, and is plus on block and works great with 6k. Arpeggio really shines on Oki due to its long startup. Tap Dust for an easy overhead combo and 6k for the low, since 2D will simply knock down even if the cubes hit. If you have the teleport spell too, then you get a great left-right mix-up by teleporting up forward or just straight up. Staffs are also best to set up on Oki. The slow staff can make it easy to meaty with cubes. Setting up the repel staff behind them on Oki lets you easily loot plus frames in their face since they get pushed towards you. The orbiting staff can be great for keeping pressure on the multi-cubes where some might miss. If you have them cornered and put the staff behind you, TKing a spell will pull them out of the corner letting you cross them up. Also, doing a manually timed super after this lets you dash up for a throw that is covered by the super. It's pretty expensive, but it's an interesting setup. The low pass gravity staff on top of giving mix ups on block strings also lets you do the instant overhead on Oki and lead to a safe jump. Or you can place it, regen mana, and safe jump. The safe jump even leads to another rising JK for a fuzzy, giving a nice safe mix up. For throw, with 5p, then IED JD for a safe jump. It has a good amount of knockdown time to gain some resources. But also dash jump gives a high low mix up that beats 3 frames. In the corner you get a high low as well, but since you don't need to dash jump, you have time to back dash JD and 6k. Also with JP into falling JD helps you auto time a fuzzy setup while safe jumping. Teleporting up forward can steal corner, but not always, depending on your timing, which leads to a very ambiguous left right mix. Sometimes you won't have enough gravity to go for a good knockdown, so air hit 2D gives you a little time to regen and meaty with 2D again. If you have arpeggio and teleport, then high up hitting 2H into arpeggio, right into teleport, and gives a meaty left right. From his DP, IED JD for a safe jump, or hang back and regen. Finally, the explosion spell doesn't really give anything other than space to set up something else. Thank you for watching.